we kind of saved most of our hitting for the scrimmages, which will be Saturday. So it said, are you sure on the, on the water? Is there any significance to that? It was written in marker. I know you guys are big on waters and bending machine changes. Just means whatever you do in life, you just gotta make sure, are you sure you want the result? Because that means we have to put some price in. So. Is there a price for water here? No, <laughs> no, it's kind of a saying. It doesn't yeah. have to do with the water. Yeah, the water's free. <laughs> How'd the guys take to uh, the vending machine changes? I know a couple of them talked about no more soda, no more juices. It's pretty much a big focus on water. Oh no, I didn't even ask them. I just there's certain things that you got to do, and and uh, you know you just you don't drink soda. Mm -hmm. You know if you're going to be doing the things that we're doing, you, you, know, you just don't drink soda. You can drink water, you can drink juices, you can drink Gatorade, you can drink Powerade. But sodas kind of defeat what we're trying to get done. How about a nutritionist? That's something this place doesn't have, and it's a, a element a lot of programs have, have turned to to, to kind of keep up with. Guys I I, th I think nutritionists are good, and I mean, it, hopefully someday we can get to that. Uh, I think that when you have somebody that has degrees in that stuff about eating and getting guys bigger and getting guys smaller, I think that uh, there's definitely room for that sometime in the future. Heard there were a fair amount of shoulder injuries that needed to be taken care of in the off season. Was there anything that you thought went into that past training or things of that nature? No, we're not going to. I'm not going to talk about anything like that. All that stuff. When I came, they had bad shoulders. Uh, they had a lot of shoulder injuries. It could be a happening, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just try to make sure we build up that part of the muscle as well as we can, and hopefully it won't happen again. You have a couple guys listed as like running back slash wide receivers. Um, are you having them learn both positions, um, or is there kind of chunks of plays? Um... Well, no, we're, we're kind of trying to lock them into one position, and then we'll see Saturday when we start seeing what the guys do live, whether they're really a running back or whether they're really a receiver. And how much are you going to be incorporating the running backs into the pass game? Are they more just you know, staying in the back foot and blocking, or are you going to let them come out? No, we let them catch passes. A guy like Irv. Phillips, who, who, you know, I guess is working in the slot. Um, he struggled uh, maybe catching downfield balls last year, turning and locating. Um, how much is kind of catching downfield passes part of that slot position for you? A lot. He needs to be able to do that. Time for a couple more questions. Uh, Zach said you went, or Mahoney uh, said you guys went live at the end for a little bit. What have you kind of seen in those limited or brief chances where the guys kind of want to get to let it loose a little bit. This is the very first time we ever did it, and it was very, very short. And it was just to give them a little taste of it. Again, we don't, we really don't do it much. We're kind of more like an NFL style. You know, we don't hit that much. We save our hits for the games, and uh, we save our hits for the scrimmages. The three times that we'll really, really get after it will be the uh, three Saturdays. Outside of that, which is very few and far between, is breaks. It's not a long, over a long period of time. Any plays jump out to you or highlights from it today? No, not really. Just good football, some, some tackles, some missed tackles, some runs, some missed <laughs> runs. <laughs>